has brought the candidates seeking admission to the Boysington chapter of the National Honor Society are in attendance and ready for installation. The candidates have met the preliminary requirements and shall be installed into the Boysington chapter of the National Honor Society. Jacob, will you present the candidates for installation?
May your followers see in you the exemplification of these great truths. May you be inspired to go forth into the world to lead for God and country. The engraved letter S on the shield stands for service. My office is service and my symbol the flag. The color of my station red symbolizes the unselfish courage that gives itself to the station, service of the nation, the school, and individual. Service to others gives us the highest form of happiness in this world. To aid those in need, to help ease the pain of the world, to be a friend and friendless in the aim of the unselfish. Selfishness is the great sin of the world. Grasping this relief, selfishness always paralyzes enjoyment. The cure for selfishness is service to others. The flower does not live for itself. The tree is hung with apple blossoms for a day. Tomorrow they have to let go of their hold on the tree and be scattered over the ground in order that the fruit may grow. The fruit decays that the seed may be released. The seed in turn gives up its life that the tree may grow. What a glorious lesson that is life for life, the old dying for the young, every tree in the orchard, every grain stalk in the field, every dusty weed by the roadside living for others. Go forward in life, then remembering that service for others is essential in the noblest development. Candidates, please rise. Young men and women, we welcome you to the membership of this society. I now ask you, will you endeavor to be the best of your ability to exemplify stalwart character, uphold and support your current country, be truthworthy and loyal to your responsibilities, have courage, faith, in God, and above all, to yourself be true. If you can so endeavor to live, please answer by saying, I will. I now require of you your pledge to the National Honor Society. Please repeat after me. I pledge myself, I pledge myself. to uphold the worthy purpose of this society, of this society to, which I have been elected, to which I have been elected, striving in every way, striving in every way by word and deed, to make its ideals, to make its ideals the, ideals of my school, the ideals of my school and of my life. life. Candidates, you may be seated. <coughs> One of the first and most important discoveries of man was fire. Perhaps it is for this reason that fire involved in the torch has always stood for knowledge and the acquisition of knowledge. You, as young adults, have displayed your willingness to search for knowledge as a visual token that you are willing to continue your quest for knowledge. I now request that you light a torch from a large torch of knowledge. As you light your torch, I ask that you bear in mind that the torch on the shield of the National Honor Society is a symbol of the source of knowledge, that is, the school. While your individual torch, when lighted, will be indicated your willingness to carry forth into life those attributes which knowledge endows you, thereby doing your small part to dispel the darkness of ignorance. You will now light your torches and sign the roll as a member of the Hoiston chapter of the National Honor Society.
of the National Honor Society, I admonish you, conduct yourself in such a manner as to bring honor to yourself, the school, and to the society. You may extinguish your torch. Thank you. 